Hey, it's Tesla Canuck. Welcome back to another video. One of the most amazing things about owning a Tesla is that your car gets better on a frequent basis with software updates. While software updates can be a source of joy, they can also be a source of frustration, uh, particularly when you're waiting for that software update to arrive and you know that it's been out there in the wild, perhaps all your friends have it, the Tesla community is all talking about it, but you don't have it yet. There's a reason why not everybody gets the software updates at the same time. It's part of Tesla's quality assurance program, so it seeds the updates um, in some type of algorithm that is a mystery to most people, but it's there for a reason, it's for your safety. So this video is not about um, a dislike for the way that Tesla distributes its software updates. This video is gonna be about all of the folklore out there, about all the things, the strange little things you can tap and do that people say will help to uh, get you that software update. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna go through about four or five of them that I've heard of, and we're going to either debunk them or see if it works. So today is a perfect day to find out whether or not any of these urban myths around getting quicker software updates are true. Uh, 20 20.12.10 is out in the wild now, it has been for a few days, maybe several days. And I know a number of people in the Toronto Tesla community have already received it. I've received it for my Model X already. So I know that it's out there, I know that it's seeded. So this is a perfect opportunity to see whether or not any of these little urban uh, myths will work in terms of getting the update to my car now. What, we, what I have here is I just wanna show you, and I've always, I've also taken a screen capture of it just in case it's backlit here. But I'm gonna see if I can get up to the camera here. Uh, I have no software update available to me. So the first thing that we are going to try in terms of the urban mess is leaving your car um, attached to Wi-Fi and then leaving it for a few hours and coming, coming back and then opening it up and then magically the software update is going to be there. That's the first one we're gonna try. The second one we're going to try is going to be to just, when you're inside the car, to open up the menu and click on the software menu and do nothing else. Uh, sometimes, according to legend, that triggers a software, software update. The next one we're gonna try is to toggle between the advanced and the standard in terms of the speed of, uh, of software delivery. So there's a setting for that in your um, software menu. We're gonna to try toggling between those. Apparently that works. Uh, and then the last thing we're gonna try, um, well, maybe even second last, I think I have another trick up my sleeve, is to keep pressing the advanced button, um, just keep tapping it. Apparently if you tap it a magical number of times, you will get the software update. And then lastly, I, I read this one in a forum somewhere that if you know an area that is receiving the update, if you go to your, um, to your phone and you connect VPN to that area and then you, you do, uh, use your phone as a hotspot and you tether, that it will trigger an update because now the car thinks that you're in, I don't know, San Francisco when you're in Toronto or something like that. So these are just urban legends that I've heard and we're gonna test them today. All right, method number one, my car has been sitting here for several hours undisturbed, connected to Wi-Fi. We're simply going to enter the vehicle and see whether or not a software update gets triggered. I've got my handy dandy GoPro here so that we just do it real time. We had uh, some Greta Van Fleet going there. Let's see what happens here. And we're going to go to uh, nowhere. We're going to look at actually the notifications here. If there was a software update, we would see that there would be a notification. And also I will check my phone here and see whether or not we have any kind of a notification. I have a notification of mail. <laughs> and uh, you can see there is no notification on my phone and no indication that there is a software update. Okay, on to method number two. So method number two, according to Urban Legend, is that if you go to your settings and software screen, it'll trigger a software update. And it says my car is up to date. It did think, it did do something there, it did think. So maybe there is some truth to this one, but you can see I'm on 2020.12.5, 
the latest is 2020.12.10. Okay, so option number two, it looked like it kind of did something, but it didn't download the software update. Let's move on to uh, urban myth number three, and that's to switch between standard and advanced. Okay, here we go. Switching. I'm gonna pause for a bit, just for good measure. Switch to advanced. And no, nothing happened. Okay, number four <laughs> is to keep hammering on the advanced button. Uh, I've heard five times, I've heard 15 times. So for good measure, we're gonna do a good, you know, 30 or so, uh, maybe even 50. Let's just, let's just go and start tapping it. So one, two, three, four, five, nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Still nothing. I'm not gonna count this next one, but I'm just gonna hammer it and just keep hammering it to see what happens. So nothing happens. Uh, switch back and forth quickly. Nothing happens. Uh, go back to music and then go back to software, checking for updates. Still nothing. So that urban myth uh, is a bust as well. So <laughs> this is not looking good. Uh, you know, I could try the VPN thing, but the distribution is happening here already. So I'm not sure what value there would be to, to do the VPN thing. So I think I'm going to hang on to that for another time when perhaps the software update isn't in my area. Um, I can try that one, but I know for a fact it's in my area. I have it on our, on our Model X in the Tesla communities that I'm involved in here in the Toronto area, many people have it. The distribution is here. It's just, there is no way it appears to um, hasten the delivery of your software update. All right, there you have it. So we tried a number of different urban legends to try to hasten the software delivery of the update to, uh, to my Tesla. None of them worked. I'm really not surprised. I think it is all legend, uh, but it was nice to try them all out. Are you aware of any other urban legends around getting quicker software updates uh, that I didn't try? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to try those out. Otherwise, um, you know, <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, click that subscribe button. Always a pleasure to make videos for you. Tesla Canuck, over and out.